My lord, it looks like Thanaton's men will catch us before you arrive. Corin and I will try our best to stave him off, but Lord Cineratus is not a man to be trifled with. The item we stole was the key to a hidden entrance to Darth Thanaton's private meditation chambers. It is the perfect ambush spot for when you have enough power to face him. If Corin and I don't make it, we hope you'll avenge our deaths. Crush Thanaton, and usher in the new era for the Sith. Here for inoculation? You'll need form 1423-D, and, uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, my lord, I thought you were another recruit. No paperwork required. I take it you're here to fight in the Quesh War? I think that should stay my little secret. Understood. Whatever your interests, just know that this planet's not safe. Quesh is highly toxic, poisoned by the resource the Republic's mining. You'll need a protective injection just to survive. There we go. That treatment will protect you for the time being. The protection wears off. The effects will fade eventually, but you can receive more treatments planetside. You're cleared. Talk to Moff Drayson if you want to fight. He's in charge of the Empire's war effort. seen such a disgusting place. Was it always like this? Or have we made it that way with all our mining and industry? Are you the Sith who killed my apprentices? 
My lord, I assure you it was nothing personal. I just prefer to stay off Thanaton's hit list. Or do you really think I have nothing better to do than chase a pair of low apprentices across the blasted galaxy? Now, as often happens when two Sith first meet, one of us isn't leaving this room alive. So I propose a toast. To the honorably defeated. There isn't a chance I could be buried on Korriban, is there? I hear the tomb of Nagasadao is vacant. The odds are slim, but I could put in a good word for you. Your old apprentices are dead, but they managed to steal the key to Thanaton's meditation chamber. And so grows the last of my legacy, yourself accepted. But this key, perhaps their death was not such a waste. Thanaton's private meditation chamber would be the perfect place for an ambush. We done playing with ghosts yet? Where I come from, man takes your dignity, you break his teeth. We shouldn't rush to seek revenge. We can't afford haste. I'd advise against facing Thanaton until you've gained more power. How do I do that? I don't know where any more ghosts are. You know, it's just hearsay, but there have been strange rumors coming off Hoth lately. Ships crashing mysteriously and crews hearing voices. Some pretty level-headed people I know are spooked. But Ashara and I will look into these Hoth rumors. In the meantime, you should consider replacing your apprentices. You will appear weak if you don't try to restore what Thanaton destroyed. I've heard a new group of acolytes have arrived on Korriban. Slaves. The kind that Thanaton always passes on. Our old friend Harkon is training them. I already have an apprentice. Thanaton took two apprentices from you. And fallen or not, this one can hardly be called Sith. An apprentice from Korriban is a special honor. It says you have status, and you will have your pick of the group. Go to Korriban where we study these hot rumors your pirate friend produced. You are the slime, the filth, the wretches of society. You are what Sith Lords scrape off their boots. I don't know why the Sith Empire even bothers with you, miserable curs. They'd be wiser to give you shovels and have you dig your own graves. Ah, Harkon. Good to see you haven't changed one bit. Well, well, my lord. I certainly never expected to see you again. I was just preparing these new slaves for their imminent death. Are you here for an apprentice, or were you just feeling nostalgic? I'm certainly not here to see you. Still as prickly and arrogant as ever, eh, slave? I mean, my lord. Thanaton had the sense to pass up this cancerous lot, so they're yours if you want them. This worm is Sephiroth. They found him in a hut's palace, crushing prisoners' heads for the hut's entertainment. Steve Pamuhu Mwaga. Shut up, slave. 
You don't talk directly to a Lord of the Sith unless he asks it. This beady-eyed monstrosity is Argog. Don't know where on a cat hound's backside he's supposed to come from. Sorry, what was that? Can't understand a word it says. This gangly creature is Jackson. He's no Sith, but he's at least human. And this bone-faced one, well, I can't pronounce whatever gibberish he says he's called. We call him Zalek. Master. Don't let him fool you. Too wild for his own good. There were two others, but we made the mistake of leaving them alone with Zalek. I caution you against choosing favorites, Harkon. I will check in often. You may check back as you please. I don't expect it to take too long to chew through this bunch. What are you staring at, wretches? You know your trial. Now go! I trust our friend Harkin is doing well. If your business is finished on Korriban, it's time we looked for another spirit to bind. Tell me about this ghost. We think what Andronicus has heard is true. A Republic transport crashed over Hoth about a year ago. It was carrying artifacts from a Sith tomb that the Jedi had confiscated. You think they got the tomb's chief resident as well? More likely than not. The Jedi never recovered the transport. I don't like the idea of binding the dead like this, but if you have to, I'd start looking for that transport. <laughs> 